Welcome to Tech Talks, our platform edition. Today is focused on getting Slack audit logs into Splunk. Tech Talks is a series of short webinars focused on features and best practices within use cases. We value you, our customer, and want you to continue in your Splunk journey. Our experts help create these tips and tricks, and we want you to leverage them in your daily role. During the course of this presentation, we may make forward-looking statements regarding future events or plans of the company. Any information about our roadmap outlines our general product direction and is subject to change at any time without notice. It is for informational purposes only. Please do not make any trades based off this information. My name is Dante Backus. I also want to introduce my colleague, Karthika Krishnan. We are both solution engineers and we're excited to share with you information about getting Slack audit logs within Splunk. Our CTO, Tim Tully, published a blog regarding our Remote Work Insights application on Splunkbase. This is our solution to the new work from home reality. Our goal with this application is to help customers monitor their systems with data already available from the enterprise. With that in mind, today we are gonna talk about the importance of monitoring collaboration tools such as Slack, getting started with Splunk, what's required to monitor and utilize the various dashboard in the Slack application. We will then go through a demonstration of setting up a data input for Slack in your Splunk instance today. And then we will cover additional resources available to help you take advantage of service monitoring capabilities in Splunk. As employees shift to working from home, companies are experiencing increased load and even outages across the remote access and collaboration tools. And with the growing reliance on communication and collaboration solutions like Slack, the dreaded outage is more painful than ever. Companies who want to maintain employee productivity and consistent service delivery against committed SLAs must be able to monitor service performance, investigate incidents, and correlate that data to cloud service data. Remote Work Insights makes this easy with Slack collaboration monitoring, allowing organizations to ensure continued compliance and safeguard against any inappropriate system access. Before we move on to the demonstration, I want to go over some items. Step one, I want to ensure that you have an enterprise grid account with Slack. This will be necessary to access the Slack audit logs. We will then want to ensure that the Slack add-on for Splunk has been installed. Following that install, you will want to have the Slack audit and event timeline app to be installed from Splunkbase. Now, I do wanna highlight the difference between an add-on and an application. An add-on is meant to assist with bringing data in. An app is meant to help you leverage that data with pre-built reports and dashboards. Lastly, we'll walk through setting up the data input in Splunk. I also want to mention that we have a blog documenting all the steps discussed during today's Tech Talk. Let's configure the Slack add-on for Splunk. Navigate to Settings, Indexes, and select the New Index option to create a new index named Slack underscore audit. Hit Save. Now the index name has been saved. Select the Slack add-on for Splunk and let's configure a new account. Hit configuration option and select the add button to add a new enterprise grid configuration. Give this a name. Hit the add Slack button to sign into your organization's workspace. Only enterprise grid um, organization owners will be able to sign in and get access to the audit logs API. So use this workflow to generate the access token necessary to query the audit logs API. In case you bought your own access token, you can skip this step and paste the access token that's already generated with your workflow. Click allow, click the copy access token button and paste that access token into the access token text box. Click add to save this configuration. Navigate to the input page Click on Create New Input, give this a name, set the interval, select the index, which we previously configured to be Slack underscore audit, set the start time as desired, 
and select the account details that we configured in the previous step. Click Add to save this input configuration. Select the index name and let's head on to the search head to query the index. Write the SPL query as index is equal to search uh, slack underscore audit. Searching across all time and click the search button to look at the access logs in JSON format. Thank you for that, Karthika. Let's take a look at the Slack audit app for Splunk. So during the getting data in phase, we configured the Slack events to go into the Slack underscore audit index. The Slack audit app for Splunk is a collection of about five pre-built dashboards. These dashboards have been inspired from use cases that our customers have told us. The landing page for this application is the user activity dashboard. A common theme that we've stuck to in all of the dashboards is the ability to drill down into specific parameters. We can see here that we have time, workspace, and user. If we scroll down, we can see successful logins, login activity, location of logins. Going down farther, we can see users created and also broken down into users deactivated. But let's navigate to the Slack app activity. Here, we can see popular apps installed, approved apps, and also restricted apps. From a compliance point of view, this is a great way to ensure that policies are set in place. Let's check out the Slack file activity dashboard. Here, we can see counts of all actions performed across all workstations. Let's focus on files downloaded. We can then scroll down and see the exact files downloaded. What if this was a malicious file? That will be useful in determining if the file was shared, making it a lot easier to determine potential infected users. We also give more visibility into preference and Slack channel activity. For the preference dashboard, please ensure that you have the event timeline app installed in your environment. This all serves as a purpose to ensure organizations maintain continued compliance and safeguard it against any inappropriate system access. Please continue the conversation with us on our Splunk community website. Sign up or sign into answers.splunk.com. Here are some resources that align with our talk today. We really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedules to join us today. Please tune back in for future Tech Talks. We are excited to share the series with you.